came up with the idea for this series basically when I had my first kid. And I'm like, okay, this will be fun. Got to tell them about, you know, the man on the moon and, uh, and Santa Claus and all those guys. And I kind of looked around at the mythology a bit and I'm like, gosh, this stuff's a little weak and undefined. And, you know, when you see Santa Claus handing out coupons for Egg McMuffins, it just sort of takes a little of the grandeur out of the myth. So I was like, you know, these guys need a little help. If we've got defined mythologies for Batman and Superman, you know, why not a defined mythology for the guys we actually believed in, that we actually thought were true? So from that day forth, uh, I kind of focused my efforts in that direction. And then it turns out that my uncle, Art Amesworth, had discovered factual records of how these guys came to be. And we found all these things in a grain silo and his old farm in Abilene, Texas. And so for the last 20 years, myself and a devoted band of Moonbot, um, we call them Imagineers, a devoted band of fellow artists and scientists have been putting together these records, restoring them, and we bring forth this long lost knowledge directly to you. What I want, what I want the readers to, 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 to realize, understand, discover is that the man in the moon and Sandman and Santa Claus and all those guys are magnificent, fantastic beings that are capable of extraordinary things and all in the defense of kids to keep them safe, to keep their imaginations alive and their hearts happy and soaring and full of possibilities. So I want to show and describe and present how they do that. It's much grander and more complicated than we ever knew.